All right, folks, today we're going to uh, showing you how to set up your uh, sulfur air clean water system uh, in your home. Um, so this is a view of the completed system once we're finished, and we'll walk you through the steps necessary to assemble this. All right, so uh, when your order arrives, you'll have uh, four boxes for this size system. Um, you will have your media tank, your side hydrogen peroxide tank, your control valve uh, assembly and gravel, and then your carbon media. Okay, this is with everything unboxed. Basically, we have our media tank, carbon, drop tube, hydrogen peroxide tank, gravel. We have our control valve, the gravel funnel, power supply, your extra seal kit for the air valve, bypass valve. These are the one inch adapters, loop for the O rings, and your instruction manual. We also offer options. Uh, the air gap goes to your drain for your vent line and one inch flex lines. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have uh, installed an inlet and outlet valve with a sample valve here, hose bib. Uh, we recommend these on these systems. Um, for uh, the startup and also the uh, backwashing uh, of the initial setup and we'll go through that in a bit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the D-tube. It's going to have the basket to the bottom. And it's important that the D-tube ends up at the same surface level as the tank. As you can see right now it's sticking up. Uh, you want to have it set seat into that little divot in the bottom of the tank. One easy way to do that is actually spin the D-tube. And as you can see now you're at the same level. So in preparation for installing the media, we have two different types of funnels. We have the blue funnel and a black funnel. So obviously you want the media to run around the outside of the D-tube, not down the middle. The black funnel has this nifty little cap that fits over the D-tube, uh, which covers the D-tube when you're pouring in the gravel. And the blue funnel does not. So if you are using the blue funnel, you want to make sure you tape, put a piece of tape over the D-tube. A couple of uh, tricks here. One is you want to make sure you put a buddy tab on there so you can grab the tape when you pull, remove it. Uh, the second thing is, is once you've filled this with gravel, you want to be very careful not to pull that D-tube up out of the gravel. It needs to be seated into the gravel because the gravel basically covers that bottom basket. So if you do that, uh, you either have to have a put a, apply water pressure with a hose trick which works sometimes and or empty the tank and start out start over so make sure you get the tape on there to protect it but make sure also it's easy for you to remove um, for this video demonstration we're going to go ahead and use the black funnel so basically depending on the size system that you have is depending on how much media goes into the tank all of our systems are pre uh, uh, measured and, and, and weighed uh, for the tank size, so you don't have to worry about that. So the first thing you want to do is pour all of your gravel in around the funnel so it seats into the bottom of the tank. You will then top off that with the carbon by pouring it into the funnel. You might want to wear a mask while you're doing that because this does uh, produce a lot of uh, dust. Okay, now that all of our media is in, we want to remove the funnel, again, taking care not to pull the D-tube up out of the tank. Okay, you're then want, going to want to fill the whole cylinder with water. You're going to want to let that soak for a minimum of an hour. Um, you can let it soak up to 24 hours, but a minimum of an hour. 